The National Iranian Oil Company (NIOC), Persian Shrakmali and Iron Shirkat e Meli ye Naft e Iran, a government-owned corporation under the direction of the Ministry of Petroleum of Iran, is a national oil and natural gas producer and distributor headquartered in Tehran. It was established in 1948. NIOC ranks as the world's second largest oil company after Saudi Arabia's state-owned Aramco. The NIOC is exclusively responsible for the exploration, drilling, production, distribution and export of crude oil, as well as exploration, extraction and sales of natural gas and liquefied natural gas (LNG). The NIOC exports its surplus production according to commercial considerations in the framework of the quotas determined by the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries (OPEC) and at the price is prevalent in the international markets. In early 2015, NIOC's recoverable liquid hydrocarbon reserves 156.53 billion barrels, 24.886 cubic kilometers, 10% of world's total, and recoverable gas reserves 33.79 times 1012 cubic meters, 15% of world's total. Current NIOC production capacities include over 4 million barrels, 640 times 10 to the 3 cubic meters of crude oil and in excess of 750 million cubic meters of natural gas per day. Iran's overall export crude oil was valued at 85 billion dollars in 2010. Topic: History Topic. Background, 1901–1951 In May 1901, William Knox Darcy was granted a concession by the Shah of Iran to search for oil, which he discovered in May 1908. This was the first commercially significant find in the Middle East. In 1923, Burma employed future Prime Minister, Winston Churchill as a paid consultant, to lobby the British government to allow the Anglo-Persian Oil Company to have exclusive rights to Persian oil resources, which were successfully granted. In 1935, Reza Shah requested the international community to refer to Persia as Iran, which was reflected in the name change of the Anglo-Persian Oil Company to the Anglo-Iranian Oil Company Following World War II, Iranian nationalism was on the rise, especially surrounding the Iranian natural resources being exploited by the foreign companies without adequately compensating Iranian taxpayers. AIOC and the pro-Western Iranian government led by Prime Minister Ali Razmara, initially resisted nationalist pressure to revise AIOC's concession terms still further in Iran's favor. In March 1951, Ali Razmara was assassinated, and Mohammad Mossadegh, a nationalist, was elected as the new Prime Minister by the Majlis of Iran. NIOC, 1951–1979 In April 1951, the Majlis nationalized the Iranian oil industry by a unanimous vote, and the National Iranian Oil Company was formed, displacing the AIOC. The AIOC withdrew its management from Iran and organized an effective worldwide embargo of Iranian oil. The British government, which owned the AIOC, contested the nationalization at the International Court of Justice at The Hague, but its complaint was dismissed. By the spring of 1953, incoming U.S. President Dwight D. Eisenhower authorized the Central Intelligence Agency CIA to organize a coup against the Mossadegh government, the 1953 Iranian coup d'état. In August 1953, the coup brought pro-Western General Fazlallah Zahidi to power as the new PM, along with the return to Iran of the Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi from his brief exile in Italy. The anti-Mossadegh plan was orchestrated by the CIA under the code name Operation Ajax, and by the British CIS MI6 as Operation Boot. In 1954, the AIOC became the British Petroleum Company. The return of the Shah had not meant that British Petroleum was able to monopolize Iranian oil as before. Under pressure from United States, British Petroleum reluctantly accepted membership in a consortium of companies, founded in October 1954, to bring back Iranian oil to the international market. It was incorporated in London as a holding company called Iranian Oil Participants Limited 
The founding members of IOP included British Petroleum 40%, Gulf later Chevron 8%, Royal Dutch Shell 14%, and Compagnie Française des Pétroles later Total SA 6%. The four Aramco partners, Standard Oil of California SoCal, later Chevron Standard Oil of New Jersey later Exxon, then ExxonMobil Standard Oil Co. of New York later Mobil, then ExxonMobil Texaco later Chevron each held an 8% stake in the holding company. All IOP members acknowledged that NIOC owned the oil and facilities in Iran, and IOP's role was to operate and manage them on behalf of NIOC. To facilitate that, IOP established two operating entities incorporated in the Netherlands, and both were delegated to NIOC. Similar to the Saudi Aramco 50 50 agreement of 1950, the IOP consortium agreed to share profits on a 50 to 50 basis with Iran, but not to open its books to Iranian auditors or to allow Iranians onto its board of directors. The negotiations leading to the creation of the consortium, during 1954–55, were considered a feat of skillful diplomacy. In Iran, IOP continued to operate until the Islamic Revolution in 1979. The new regime of Ayatollah Khomeini confiscated all of the company's assets in Iran. According to the company's website, the victory of the Islamic Revolution annulled the consortium agreement of 1954 and all regulations pertaining to it. The taking of power in Iran by the new Islamic Republic led to the withdrawal of foreign employees from Iran's oil industry, and Iranians took full control of its affairs. <inaudible> NIOC's oil reserves According to OPEC, NIOC recoverable liquid hydrocarbon reserves at the end of 2006 was 1,384 billion barrels, 2.200 times 1,011 cubic meters. NIOC oil reserves at the beginning of 2001 was reported to be about 99 billion barrels, 1.57 times 1,010 cubic meters. However, in 2002, the result of NIOC's study showed huge reserves upgrade, adding about 317 billion barrels 5.04 times 1010 cubic meters of recoverable reserves to the Iranian oil reserves after 2003 Iran made some significant discoveries which led to addition of another 7.7 .7 billion barrels 1.22 times 109 cubic meters of oil to the recoverable reserves of Iran the vast majority of Iran's crude oil reserves are located in giant onshore fields in the southwestern Khuzestan region near the Iraqi border Overall, Iran has 40 producing fields 27 onshore and 13 offshore. Iran's crude oil is generally medium in sulfur and in the 28 degrees to 35 degrees API range. As at 2012, 98 rigs are in operation in onshore fields, 24 in offshore fields and a single rig is in operation in the Caspian Sea. Iran plans to increase the number of its drilling rigs operating in its onshore and offshore oilfields by 36 units to reach 134 units by March 2014. Table 1 The 5 Biggest NIOC Oil Fields <laughs> Strategic Petroleum Reserves Iran began in 2006 with plans to create a global strategic petroleum reserve with the construction of 15 crude oil storage tanks with a planned capacity of 10 million barrels 1 million cubic meters. The storage capacity of oil products in the country is around 11.5 billion litres 2011, but it will reach 16.7 billion litres by the end of the fifth five-year development plan 2010-2015. As of 2012, Iran is capable of storing crude oil in the Persian Gulf for a period of 10 to 12 days. The figure should hit 30 to 40 days after the construction of new storage facilities are completed. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Gas reserves. NIOC holds about 1000 times 10 to the power of 12 cu feet 28000 cubic kilometers of proven natural gas reserves of which 36% are as associated gas and 64% as in non associated gas fields it stands for world's second largest reserves after russia NIOC's 10 biggest non associated gas fields topic 
Recent discoveries Since 1995, National Iranian Oil Company has made significant oil and gas discoveries, standing for some 84 billion barrels times 1010 cubic meters of oil in place and at least 175 times 10 to the power of 12 cu feet 5, cubic kilometers of gas in place, which are listed below. Organizational structure The company is completely owned by Iranian government. NIOC's General Assembly consists of The President Vice President Director General of the Management and Planning Organization Minister of Petroleum Minister of Energy Minister of Industries and Mines Minister of Labor and Social Affairs Minister of Economy and Finance The GA is its highest decision-making body, determining the company's general policy guidelines, and approving the annual budgets, operations and financial statements and balance sheets. The company's board of directors has the authority and major responsibilities to approve the operational schemes within the general framework ratified by the General Assembly, approve transactions and contracts, and prepare budgets and board reports and annual balance sheets for presentation to the General Assembly. The board supervises the implementation of general policy guidelines defined by the General Assembly, and pursues executive operations via the company's managing director. <laughs> <laughs> Members of the board Subsidiary <laughs> <laughs> companies <laughs> 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 With appropriate division of tasks and delegation of responsibilities to subsidiaries' affiliates, NIOC has been able to establish acceptable degrees of coordination within its organizational setup. In fact, NIOC's directors act primarily in policy making and supervision while subsidiaries act as their executive arm in coordinating an array of operations such as exploration, drilling, production and delivery of crude oil and natural gas, for export and domestic consumption. The NIOC's subsidiaries are as follows. Topic: <laughs> Production costs and investments. The cost of producing each barrel will rise to $30 or more from $7 in 2012. Iran currently allocates $20 billion a year to develop fields and $10 billion on maintaining output. In the next decade, maintaining production will cost $50 billion, with a similar sum required for development. This does not include development and investment costs in related fields such as petrochemicals. <laughs> NIOC's major domestic contractors Although usually neglected and overlooked, Iran also has a number of very active private companies in the oil sector. The growing private sector activity is mainly active in projects involving the construction of oil field units, refinery equipment, tanks and pipelines, as well as engineering. Iranian manufacturers will supply oil industry with $10 billion worth of domestically made goods and equipment in 2012. Iranian companies are already outperforming foreign firms in South Pars. NIOC produces 60 to 70 percent of its industrial equipment domestically including refineries, oil tankers, oil rigs, offshore platforms and exploration instruments. Iran is also cooperating with foreign companies to transfer technology to Iranian oil industry. The objective is to become self-sufficient by 85 percent before 2015. The strategic goods include onshore and offshore drilling rigs, pumps, turbines and precision tools. Domestic production of 52 petrochemical catalysts will be started in 2013. As of 2015, Iran had reached most of its above-mentioned objectives in manufacturing. Participations in foreign gas fields Iran owns 50% of the offshore gas field of Rum in the North Sea, which is Britain's largest untapped gas field. 
It is a joint venture with BP worth $1 million a day at the 15th of June 2010 spot prices. Iran has another 10% joint venture participation with BP and other foreign oil companies in Azerbaijani Shah Deniz gas field, producing 8 billion cubic meters of gas per year, worth up to a reported $2.4 billion per year. The Iranian entity with which BP has partnered in these ventures is the Swiss-based Naftaran Intertrade, a subsidiary of NIOC. Shah Deniz is not subject to U.S. sanctions. Topic: Environmental record. According to geographer Richard Heady, is third on the list of companies with the highest level of CO2 emissions globally, with 739 million tons, 727 million long tons, 815 million short tons, in 2013, amounting to more than 3.1% of worldwide anthropogenic emissions. See also The nationalization of the Iran oil industry movement International rankings of Iran Petroleum industry in Iran Ministry of Petroleum of Iran National Iranian Gas Company National Iranian Petrochemical Company National Iranian Oil Refining and Distribution Company Economy of Iran Iranian oil bourse Foreign direct investment in Iran Privatization in Iran Ailid Ashkelon Pipeline Company, used to be 50% in control of NIOC and the focus of a dispute between Israel and Iran. William Knox Darcy